could just see the wind building. It looked like sort of small tornado as we were coming in. And as I was probably 100 metres from this 150-year-old approximately large radiata pine, I heard a large bang and snap. It sounded a lot like a car crash and looked and could just see where the tree had fallen. It was quite a dense situation where one tree took out several trees on the way down. Look, when you're standing in front of a log and a barrel this size, there's a lot of things that go through your head. Firstly, we want to look at the quality of the timber. In this case, the timber quality and application is really only good for one thing as far as the garden's concerned right now, and that would be turning into mulch. We'll use the MS661 and the MS881 most of the time for their low end torque and their, their horsepower to sort of pull through the harder cuts, which we'd call ripping, and that's cutting against the grain. The MS661 stays in our kit every day. It's in the toolbox uh, and we get pulled out on a daily basis an MS881 and it's extremely high performance and when you have a big log that needs to be cut a lot there's no better application. Block it up, rip larger sections against the grain into pieces that'll be manageable and go through a chipper that's about 14 to 16 inch diameter. make a lot of small cuts or three-quarter cuts. The worst thing you can have is have your saw pinched or have the compression trap your saw in the log and then use tools and wedges and things like that to be able to cut through. And just a lot of small pieces, manageable pieces, the better. Basically, we just want to work through in our head how we can do that as quickly and as efficiently as possible and as safely as possible. As well as blocking up the large pine log, we're going to go ahead and carry out some tree surgeries, some climbing activities, and so we're going to remove some of the limbs, we're going to clean up some of that natural fracture from where the breaks were, and we're going to remove some hanging limbs post-tree failure that happened a few months ago. The MS500i can't compare to it. It's the world's first chainsaw with injection technology. Very diverse in terms of its range and what you could apply it to. You can use it for large tree um, blocking or ripping based on a torque that comes along with the fuel injection or even smaller applications. You can use it all day and it's still fairly lightweight and easy to use. The best thing about the MS400, its versatility as a ground saw with its power when we're, we're blocking up a log like this. steel power tools, particularly the professional range of steel chainsaws when it relates to tree related emergencies from SAS crews to professional arborists to anybody who's even helping the neighbour in the backyard cut up wood or clear something off their shed, I think still is, is where people go and there's a, there's a confidence behind that. We're blessed with the luxury at the gardens to do the right thing. So we try to keep everything on site. We're sort of a closed community in terms of trees and plants, and that mulch will be used throughout the gardens and recycled in garden beds. My name is Charlie Carroll. I'm the manager of arboriculture here at the Royal Botanic Gardens of Victoria. <laughs>